Welcome everybody to the Brew Breath, Breath Podcast, Podcast. <laughs> episode 9. Alright. Grand Rising. Grand Rising, everybody. Give me an asterisk. How right. are you feeling today, sir? Let's start it off with whatever's I'm going really on. Working. Whatever's going on right now. GameStop, right? Oh. So... Just to make sure, like, I think I know what's going on with it, but let me see what you know is going on with it. You know what? I'm actually going to just do a quick little search because I haven't... Now, to be honest, I haven't been looking into GameStop. It's not a quick little search. You're going to have to listen and read a bunch of stuff. <laughs> but I haven't been really... So you don't know? I, no, okay, I'm, so, I'm going to be honest. I so I'll just really say what I know. Yeah. Um, is uh, Basically, what was going on was the hedge funds... And the big uh, investment agencies, the hedge funds, mm-hmm. um, basically were betting against GameStop. So they were, they were kind of putting their money betting basically that GameStop stock is gonna demolish. So uh, right. okay, like okay, like okay, it happened yeah, yeah, to yeah. Toys R Us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what will probably happen to Macy's, mm-hmm. things of that nature, okay. right? So somebody, I guess, noticed that or snitched on that fact of it on mm-hmm. reddit so they were like it'd be super fun to not make gamestop fail mm. and the people were like we have the control now of if this business literally dies right now or it doesn't That's and we're gonna funny. choose it to not die we choosing it to not die now what that did was fuck it up all the money for the people that put their money betting towards that it was gonna fail and it didn't <laughs> like millions of millions of dollars that they put towards that yeah. because it was supposed to be bro it's failing like it's yeah, failing what yeah. the fuck it's gonna fail we we'll put money on it to fail simple money now once that didn't work the people that are putting money towards it failing aren't the ones whose money it is right. they're just people that work for so it's their asses on the line if they lose all that money oh man suicide but, rates are gonna go crazy no cause they get a bailout okay it's different. We lose our money. But Nobody bails us out. Money. Nobody goes, oh, here's the $150 you lost. Here's another $150. Try again. I know you can make it again. Okay. You know I what see, I'm That's I what see. hedge funds get because they're like, oh, we know you can make the money again. Right. Here's just the money again. Okay. Shit happens. So, yeah, that's, that's basically. So, they got to bail out of their millions or whatever. Mm-hmm. And so, basically, Robinhood and these all these apps, they had to freeze this. Because the because of the the thing that happened and the hedge funds are going crazy. So what ended up happening was not only with the game stock mm-hmm. stock, they they did the same thing to Nokia. They did the same thing to um, AMC. They right, did the same okay. thing to like whatever like Bed yeah. Bath and Beyond. Like any store that was gonna go down with a very low like a five dollar stock. Yeah. You just buy like fifty ten stocks. So what the problem was, there was, so there was only like, there was not enough stocks for everybody to buy. That was the problem. That's why they stopped everything. Because if people kept buying, there was almost a chance that you you just spent your money and you didn't even get a spot. Um, So instead of that happening, they said, let's freeze it. That will not freeze it. You were only allowed to sell your stock, not buy any stock. So which caused the stock to plummet again. That is wild. I mean, that is just that is just a uh, a a way to. I mean, it's monumental to me, honestly. Excuse you, sir. You cannot get on the table. We're recording. Thanks. Um, that is just a monumental. Stop. Stop. Okay, sorry. <laughs> that is just a monumental moment in society where it's like, even though it's not gonna change much of anything, really. It's just showing everyone else like, hey, look, this is the reality of what business really is. Like, it's it's fake. It's it's a front. It's all these things that you think is some crazy. Uh, you have to know some higher up knowledge, and it's not. It's just scammers scamming people, and that's it. And so what they're so- tra- what they're really tight about is that because of that Reddit thing, mm-hmm. right? And that somebody whoever like basically snitched on what happened, mm-hmm. right? That's me. So athletic. Look at him. He's literally, so Bubba is literally on the top of the chair, like off the edge on the top of the chair where you rest your back. I think you should just crazy. fucking 
Move your uh, my my coat. Yeah, Give me a like move the chair away from the coat. Hang the coat on the door like my dad does. Yeah. Yeah, just move the chair away. He smells all the other cats. That's yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, that's why. I know. Move the chair away so he, and you know he's gonna climb. Momentarily, things happen. Uh, yeah. So yeah. basically, what I was saying with the GameStop situation, right? Mm -hmm. That. They're, they didn't want the people to have the control of the manipulation of the market. Mm -hmm. Like the market, like the people on the news and everybody's been manipulating it the whole time. Like saying like, oh, I'm selling my stocks here. This is going to go down, causing the market to manipulate because everybody will see that on mm -hmm. TV. So once people from YouTube and everybody like started doing the same thing they're yeah. doing, they had to shut it down because of the fact that it's like, it's like, it's like. It's like the new kid got onto the scheme yeah. and he could really mess up the whole money making scheme. Like, right. like people realize they could sit home, tell enough people to put money into GameStop after they've already put their money in. So they all double their money. And once it starts going up, they're going to keep making money, but then they can pull out because the people that keep doing it at the end, they're going to fail. Gonna fail. Like they yeah. realize to do the scam themselves and stuff, yeah, like to yeah. manipulate it themselves. And that's, that's where the problem becomes because they could pop the bubble, but they're not educated enough. But to that's know. what I'm saying. But but that also comes with a limitation because people need to realize this is a game that you did not create. You just figure it out. You're just figuring out the game that was created against you. But at the end of the day, this isn't your game, so you need to no, watch the No, but the thing, out. yeah, well, the thing is, like, the stock market is what the economy depends on in the U.S. Right. So the problem here it comes is like over here, like um, so. Everybody's getting money sitting on their ass, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody's producing anything to get the right. money. Then they get the money they put into the stock market, into businesses that aren't producing anything at all. So what you're going to do is you're going to cause the economy to even get even more fucked yeah, up. Yeah, more fucked up. Than how fragile it already is. But plot twist. <coughs> maybe that's what they want. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, maybe this was bait. Maybe they want the dollar to fucking crash and they want the economy to go to shit. I mean, you, bro. I if that know. happens, there's not... Because the thing is, you don't want the top thing to go to shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want the top I'm thing to go to shit. I'm just poking holes at the conversation. That's all I'm doing. <laughs> just to no, see. Cause that, I'm doesn't, like, that doesn't mean... Because they would have shut everything down if they wanted that. If they wanted mm. the dollar to go to shit, they would let everything keep on running. Mm. Because now what it's going to do is make it harder for you to get into these easier stocks. The 4 or $5 ones and stuff mm, like that. Or right. They're only going to limit you to buy a certain amount of them. Yeah. Um, but if you're still like a rich person dealing with hedge funds and stuff like that, they can buy as many as they will. Like whatever. Yeah. Like they, they got a different set of rules over there, you know? Yeah. So what the thing is, like apps like the reason why Robinhood and stuff like that is getting really sued is that if, if, if it was only people that were... Just in charge of the stock market, it would probably fuck up. Like, mm -hmm. it would probably crash. Yeah. Basically, like, Robinhood depends on people losing their money, normal people losing their money in stocks to just keep on going because there's bigger people that have to make larger amounts of money which keep the stock market actually going. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, people... I felt that about Robinhood. I, I made an account and, like, I just intuitively, I went in there and I was like, something about this platform just doesn't sit right with me. And then when all this shit came out, I was like, oh, yeah, I knew I was right. Something just fell off. I just, oh, I didn't do it. I didn't put any money in. I got a free stock. I was like, all right. But something about the app just rubbed me the wrong way. I was like, I don't like this. So I just deleted it. And I was like, fuck this shit. Yeah. Um, but yeah. And then now that this shit came out, I'm like, oh, I was right. <laughs> it shit felt weird. It's something about it. I don't know. Just the layout. It wasn't even user friendly. And I'm like, if a company makes their website or their app super complicated for your eyes, something's off, bro. They don't want you to figure something out. They're making it this complicated for you to visually. That's why I like. Cash App better. Yeah. Because they want just... you to figure it out. Like, but the okay, thing with Cash App... simple. But the thing with Cash App I don't like is they don't have everything. No, they don't. They don't have all the stocks. No, they don't. Like, maybe, they don't have a GameStop stock. But maybe that's that's what keeps Cash App positive, where they control things. No, what the thing is, so... Basically, what happens is, like... So, if you got these items, right? You got the tray, the ashtray, and the cup, right? Mm -hmm. So, this is the normal person. Mm -hmm. This is uh this is basically Robin Hood and there's those. Yeah. And he goes by the door too, like in a weird oh, way. Oh, he wants the girl, he wants that. So basically so what happens is that this person 
buys the stock from Robinhood, right? Mm. And there's a middle person that actually takes care of the transaction in the middle of it. So you might see you got your money back or you made your money, but it's some there's a guy there's in the middle who has to do that. Okay. So what it happens is that if if he gives you your money, but over here there's not enough money to give to you, they got to take money back. So that could po- cause problems. Right. That's that's really what happened, and I think the right reason why they didn't mess with uh, I didn't hear Cash App's name being mentioned with no. the Robin Hoods and everything because the middle guy is a different guy. Mm. The company for the middle is a different company. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, and um. Cause isn't Cash App affiliated with Square or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why. That's probably there. No. Well, yeah, but. That's Cash App still has to work with somebody. somebody like, else. Cash App is like a Robin Hood. Mm-hmm. But it's just that I think their middleman is different. Like, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, basically, um, yeah, that was the thing yeah, with that. Right, yeah. Oh, we'll see what happens. I don't yeah. know. I mean, it is what it is. We just got to see how, how the shit unfolds and how... Uh, so, one what? more one more mm-hmm. thing I want to talk about. I just noticed that I was on my dad's phone watching, like, the Pakistani news. Yeah. Right? And, um... Like, I was watching, like, the system... The system setup is like this, right? So, if you're from a poor place, like... So, so there's a bunch of things that happen. Like, think about it like this. Mm. The phrase that those who can't do teach and those who can't do, do. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. So, the like, you have teachers that can't do what they're teaching because they would be doing what they're teaching. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Okay. And then it's like, so... So, so you get information from somebody who's not doing something to do something, which is a guarantee way, almost a guarantee way for you to fail. You get what I'm saying? Like before, right? Before school and everything like that, before this new age stuff, you used to really like do whatever your pops did or your mom did. You know, they were doing it already. They had a bit like your, your pops, if he like, if all he did was make swords and hammers all day, right? Right. He had to be good at this shit, right? Like, you can't be a shitty sword hammer making guy. Yeah. It's not going to work because there will probably be other people that would just get yeah. better. Like, right, right, right. either you had to be at least good enough to, like, the job gets done, like a plumber type mm-hmm. stuff. You know what I mean? Like, uh, if your dad's a plumber... uh What's up, everybody? Just want to interrupt today's episode to let you know about our sponsors, 22 Graphics. If you need graphic designs or anything done of that sort, please holla at them. They'll take care of you. That account is me, so you know. Holla at your boy. See you later. Thank you. Think things of, like when you become a plumber, right? You you go to like plumbing school and stuff like that. Most probably your teacher is going to be somebody who was a plumber before. Most probably because it's right. a physical task. Like I go to EMT school, right? Mm-hmm. In the college part, right? I get taught by a person that's an actual EMT. Now, how much of the previous education or what they're teaching you or even like in college, like besides an EMT, like EMT is a hands on course. These are hands on things, being a plumber and things of that yeah, nature. Right. Uh-huh. But what if what if like 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 well, what if like how many percentage of professors are really out there that the actually field, suck yeah. at the field that they're actually in like they're really just good at teaching you words of that field like you tell me because in my position i only went to community colleges and they suck you know you're right you're right because so when i went to i went to qcc right um the teachers were that i had they were pretty much like, just regular teachers. And it was fine or whatever. It wasn't, like, a big deal. I don't think it added anything crazy to my education. Where I did see... Where I did get value from my education was when I went to Huddersfield, when I went to the university. And, I, like... Because over there, in the UK, they only give you courses that you it, like you need for what you're trying to study. But my thing is for the professors but and the teachers. The professors that I had actually did field work. And all the, all the professors that I had over there... Each one of them were like actual economists. They were like, they worked in banks. Like, you know, because I was on the business course. So all of them, so all of them were, had actually did what they, you know, they did the work that they were teaching. Like for macroeconomics. Bro, you hear this? (laughs) That shit kept me up all night. You want that pool nanny. 
Because he's at the door, right? Yeah. And he's like, she's out there. I know, bro. There is a female cat. I don't think he understands like how cold it is outside. She's probably dead, bro. Or he's probably crying because she's dead. Maybe. It's not cold. Yeah, I heard... Yesterday or no? Yesterday morning, the day. Because look, he has this like weird face on. Like he doesn't, yo, it doesn't look like he's sad. He doesn't look like he's sick. He doesn't. He ate his food. That's his. Uh, I need uh, punani face. Yeah, he's being know. a douche. Yeah, he's being... give him give him punani one time, can't get over. Now he wants it all the time, every time. But anyways, yeah, no, it's real quick, like. Not yesterday morning, but the day before, there was a cat, like, crying. And I know it was because of the cold. I'm like, damn, bro. Yeah, he's over here, there die. was a cat that was crying, too, for a minute. It was like, <laughs> but it was like a cry. It wasn't a horny cry. It was like, yo, get me in yeah. shelter cry. Like, yeah, I was, and like, I've heard so that, bad. too. Maybe maybe Simba's doing the thing where he feels for the person. And like, oh, man. Yeah, Simba be, Simba be feeling feelings. Simba's a nut. Simba's, Simba's a, a nice cat. Nice cat, but he also has bitch <laughs> tendencies. He, he has bitch ass tendencies. Tendencies, you know, like but how he, he like he, how he meows and lets me like touch him, and then like, <laughs> but then like like he only lets me touch him right now, and then like he's also doing these crazy meows, and so yeah. it's annoying. You also only be want to like kill him and shit, and you're like, yo, <laughs> shut up. You know that shit. But what was it saying? Yeah. Oh, so yeah, whatever. So, no. yeah, so they all had like except, field except, work. Except wait, except. No, no, he had field work too because he was mad passionate. Never mind. Yeah, they all had, they all did field work. So when I sat in their classes, to be honest, I was always type shit motivated because I'm like, okay. Yeah, you're I've, actually. What I've heard from like a lot of like, I haven't went to art school or art college, but watching people's YouTube videos on that, that actually like artists that, that like went to schools, most of them end up saying, my professor was an artist that never made it. Was the, He was doing a style that was whack. You always want to do real, real art, like draw flowers type shit. It's like, bro, I can just take a picture of flowers if I want real flowers. And like, now, so when I think... Wait, so, you didn't even... What made you think I was done? Please proceed. So, <laughs> so yeah, they wanted him to do all that. And then every time they would try to do something cartoony or a little more simpler, the art teacher would be like, this is, this is ugly and this doesn't yeah. work. You're, you're not going to succeed with this. You know things of that nature. So that's that's how it was on the art side, and then um, just saying like for the for the, for these type of like I think mo- most situations I don't know like you said it was correct, but how was it in the U.S. the professors that were? That's what I was gonna say. So in the U.S. it was a completely different story. I remember so in high school I had an art class as an elective, like an extra you had to have in there, and that art teacher was heavily depressed. Heavily and this is community depressed. school too, right? I no, this was high school. You went to Queens College? I went to Queensboro. No, but you didn't go to Queens College. No, I didn't go to yeah, Queensboro. Yeah. I mean, I took a little internship course there, but it wasn't, that didn't really count. Yeah. It was just like extra college credits. Okay. Like okay. But in Francis Lewis, when I was in high school, that art teacher, she was very depressed, bro. Very depressed. And then when I went to QCC, I, had, I took the sociology class because I had to. It was one of those things that I had to choose from. He did not know what he was talking about. I don't even... I so, like, a couple of things, right? A couple of things that I, I, I also wonder about the U.S. situation then. They see, yeah, it, it might change during different places and stuff like that. But, like, so with the U.S., like, when you start off in the school and in the school system, you don't... See, so you get, like, a lot of... I feel like you do get a lot of bad teachers when you start off till even college. So you get to college, you get a lot of teachers that never did what they really wanted to yeah. do. And so that's what you're around most of the time, even more than your parents. You're around the teachers don't, that don't do what they teach. And or, no offense to them, would were not where they wanted to be in life. Right. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. And that rubs off on the student. Right. So by the time they get to college, it's even trickier to care about something. Because you've been around people that doesn't don't really care about much of it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. in the public school system right so you have teachers or you could even have it the other way around you could even have teachers that had teachers that were shitty so the teachers didn't get a good education Mm -hmm. either and now the teachers are like that you know what i'm saying yeah and and so what's also going on with these students with this situation is like that teachers are almost like if your school is doing bad like now i've heard like uh, through YouTube and like teachers talking about stuff like now they just have to like pass the kids 
Now they're just passing the kids. Like, they're, they're pushing these kids, like, dummies, basically, out like cattle. I forgot who said this, but somebody said the exact word, that they're pushing these kids out like cattle. Like, like just pass them. Like, just pass them. people, you know what pisses me off? It's like, bro, we, the more productive a society is, the better, right? Because you want, you, in, just in basic terms of economics, a productive society is always going to do better economically. But if you start lowering the quality of education and then the people who are distributing this education are also not up to par, it's like, what is that going to say for your economy as a whole, 5 to 10, 20 years down the line? Like, that's scary. That's really scary. Because then that means you're not going to have competent people in the society actually producing anything of value. So that means what is going to go into that dollar or whatever currency at that point? You know what I mean? Like, it's just going to be this weird... So that's that's one of the things is that like okay so so like I was watching a video on my dad like a uh, thing about like a uh, a teacher from Pakistan talking to the president about like how much less she gets paid and yeah. this and that like yeah I always think it's very weird when like somebody will look to somebody else mm. that has no, like like if a teacher looks to a president for a higher wage that's like it's almost like a, like I feel like. Like, we should know at this point that the spot of the president is not really who decides that really should go up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, a president just has to kind of just sit there and just kind of, like, hear it out and be like, just got to hear it out and be like, this, yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. And they never do anything about it. Crazy. Okay. You, you don't want to, do you remember what you wanted to say? <sighs> no, I just feel like it should be... We need a we need to step it up, bro. That's what it is. <laughs> we need to step it up. Like I feel like education should be something that whoever is actually giving that should be. It should be kind of difficult to be a teacher. It should be challenging to be a teacher because you're in charge of being in this person's life for more time than their actual parents. Because then they leave the house, they spend hours at school, and then they come back. Like you actually are a little bit more important in that sense of where you have a lot more influence and impact on the child, even on the young adult or whatever. So that has to be looked at. Like, we have to step it up and make sure we have quality people here. Put more money into education. Uh -huh. Put more money into education, right? Look at all the programs, all of the government programs. Look at all the funding and really see what is being prioritized. Right now, from what I've seen, the military gets the most funding. And... I feel like this should be redistributed. We need to look at, okay, I'm not saying defund it or whatever, but things have to be prioritized because at the end of the day, we want to keep, we want to keep being number one or whatever, you know, we want the country to succeed and people to do well and da -da -da -da. we want that. So in order for that to happen, you need to prioritize what in the long run is going to keep that machine running better and smoother. And I feel like it does. It's the people, bro. Without the people, what do you have? You don't have a country. Like, you need people. You need that energy. You need the people. You need the progress. Like, but whatever. That's a whole thing. I feel like a politician. <laughs> a bad one, by the way. Um. Okay. So okay. Next topic. Oh, next, topic next topic. 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 What makes a good politician? Look at these. You gotta guys. give a fuck about it. We don't I give do. a shit about this. I do. No, no, you don't. Cause you could keep on talking, and then I'll ask you what you said the first thing, and then you'll forget what the first thing well, was. All right, that is our transition. <laughs> he keeps going by the door and meowing. Come here. Come. He's not going to come, bro. Come he here. Knows. Come. Yeah. Come. Yeah. Annoying. Yeah. See, that's how you know there's nothing wrong with him. That's how you know. That's that's the regular him. He's he's kind of like somebody's out there help him type shit. Like, like who, who boy, who's stuck in the well? Where's yeah. Jimmy? Jimmy's stuck in the well? <laughs> And Buffer's just chilling, like, bro. I'm He's been playing in that, in that, yeah. in that thing. So cute. He's over there taking a piss. Um. Okay. So what? Our next thing I wanted to say. You think going to it? So uh, unisex is both sexes, right? Mm -hmm. So you think going to like this is a very weird question, but um, think going to a unisex gym for a female at a young age causes hoish behavior. <laughs> You used to being around guys in tight clothes, and you see other girls wearing tight clothes. So you think this is what it is? 
Define young age. What is that? As I get older, I feel as weird that girls are working out in the same gym as a guy. I get weirded and weirded out more and more. I start noticing things that girls are one-upping. Things like, like maybe it wasn't a thing to wear, like the, with your belly showing in the gym back in the day. And then it became a thing. Like, all these things that girls keep on doing, like, guys will do, like, the rib cutout shirt. Girls do their version of it, and it just gets sluttier and sluttier. It doesn't actually add anything to, like, like a girl going, like, I'm going to do this. You better have that part shredded in guy world. You know what I mean? Like, you you know how much of a loser? Like, yo, all y'all are losers that are, like, not muscular, skinny, or fat, and that wear, like, the cutout, like, so you're... Mu it's called a muscle t-shirt. You have no muscle. The ones that rip out the, yeah, the yeah, sleeves and stuff like this is stupid. So girls do the same type of thing, but the girl type of thing. Hmm, this is interesting. But the girl type of thing around the guy causes a different reaction. Right. Can girls say I don't know, but but guys are wearing this like stuff that shows their back that's hot. There's only one or two guys in the gym that are actually always doing that. Most of the time, every girl's wearing everything. Shark, tank, tight, fat, skinny, no I, matter what. I've seen, I've seen a fat girl in my gym with a, with, a, with a shark tank outfit. Like the whole, like the bra thing. Mm -hmm. Like she's fat. Like she got the whole stomach out, mm -hmm. right? And I've no, I'm not trying to shame her for her body, but I feel like you got to know what outfit, like, like, not trying to shame her for her body, but it's like, yo, that shit is mad tight. Mm -hmm. Like, this shit is mad weird. And you know what? I would have no problem if it was just all girls in the gym. Mm -hmm. I would never got to see it. I don't have a pro I have the same problem with her with the fat guy wearing the tight stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, you could put the same Shark Tank bra on the fat guy because he probably has the titties to fit in there. And then the tights. I still got the same problem with him. Mm -hmm. I don't go, yo, you're mad ugly with the fat shit on. No, I'm just yeah. like, what the fuck are you doing? This is right. stupid. You're not muscular. Stop trying to show off muscles that aren't there. Or yeah. Like, what are you, you can't even look in the, you're fat. How are you doing abs and looking in the mirror? Like, that doesn't make any sense right now. Mm. And like, what happened to the era of like, you know, bodybuilders wear hoodies. They wear hoodies. They, the biggest dudes would just wear hoodies in the gym. Yeah. I don't, I feel like. Simba, shut up. Good. I feel like so. I mm, I see this from two angles. Generally, yeah, when you go to a place and then you see certain things being like you know certain outfits being worn or whatever. If you are a if you are a girl who's susceptible to be influenced, then <laughs> oh, you feel like it's getting louder. Stop. Okay, so. If you are the, uh, you know, if you're a girl who gets influenced by peer pressure or whatever you see and you like to like say, okay, I'm just gonna, You're going you know, to the gym. You're going to get influenced. You have low self-esteem. That's well, why you're I'm, in the gym. But, but that's what I'm saying. If you are the type of person that gets influenced by that and you're like, okay, uh, you know, maybe that'll look cute on me or whatever, then yeah, it domino effects. It definitely does. Um, but then it's also like the gym culture has been profitized so much on that purpose, like the lifestyle of the gym. You know what I mean? Like businesses have seen that as an opportunity. No, I so get I the fact that more guys are going to come in the gym if there's girls in the gym. It's no, no, a club no, no. tactic. I'm, no, I'm saying the the whole gym aesthetic is now a light, is now like a look. No, but I'm just you know saying I mean? the guy's gym, girl's gym, make it different. That's what I'm saying. The well, older I, I get, the more weirded out I get is the fact is I'm in the gym, I'm getting older. There's a 40-year-old dude and a 17-year-old girl in the same spot. With the tights and stuff on. There's something weird about that scenario being allowed at the same time. Like, that girl goes to high school. That nigga can't walk into her high school mm. and do gym class with her. Yeah, I understand what you mean. I mean, when I did, so... And I'm not... I have no, like... I'm just saying, like, I, it's fine to have an older woman with the... Like, that's that's whatever. Like, I just think, like, the older I get, though, it's, like, it's weirder that girl... Because the thing is, it's gonna... It's not an uninvolving thing. Girls don't make their workouts less sexier. Let's just say that, right? And doesn't that cause things to a guy when we're dealing with testosterone in a gym? Mm. It does. I, I get it. I What's mean, the point of it? I went like, to, at one point, I did go to Lucille Roberts, which is all women gym. Yeah, my cousin goes to that. Mom. And women still dress the way they dress there, too. 
It doesn't that's really change. In front of girls. But yeah. There's no guy there to look it, at. But it. I will say the the vibes were way more relaxed because there was no dudes there. So it, it, like nobody really gave a shit at that point because it was it was like unless you're one of those girls that's to compete with other girls, but it's like bro, whatever. No, but that's what yeah. I'm saying is do yeah. you think do you think that that, that could I just feel like that that allows uh, a little hoish behavior. I feel like if you just the thing is, you gotta look at it in a different perspective now. Now it's mm-hmm. different. Now a little like the the like I I told you about girls that are in my gym that cover up, and, but they're very still in good shape. Their bodies are yeah. good. They don't show no skin and everything. Right. right? They are older women. They're in their thirties, let's say. Okay. They still look good and everything. Yeah. Right. They grew up on maybe a magazine. Of a bodybuilding, right? Of a woman that was already on wow. steroids, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. You get that, and yeah. then and then for the uh, for now, every girl has pictures of models on their phones. Oh, they go to gym. They go. To, they could actually run into an Instagram model, yeah. or actually be like, "Oh, you're this. Oh shit, how many likes she got?" Mm. Now it's influencing you because most of the girls going to the gym that have big followers are just. Exaggerated escorts. But it also They're just gassed up look. escorts. They're just gassed up escorts for yeah. rappers. The Can't forget about these people also exist. Mm, no, that's true. And they're at the totem pole of everything. Mm. For like any athlete and stuff like that, yeah. then you gotta be a thought. Every athlete is a thought. Like you, you gotta be in modeling, you gotta be a thought. Mm. Or at least show thoughtness. And that depends. Now, are you living a normal life and just showing thoughtness? You live in two different things, but you gotta think about the younger person watching them. Yeah. I'm looking at Lee Priest and all these dudes. I'm looking at Arnold and all these stuff. Like I, when I grow up, and like there was a, there was like probably girls at the gym, but they weren't like at to the the, the the peak, you know. And then there's, then there's also a problem with younger kids doing that. Like it, there has to be a fucking problem with a 17 year old girl coming in looking like. She's like 27 with all the clothing, right? Like, another girl should be walking up to like, yo, you shouldn't really do this. There's older dudes out here. Like, yeah. you're bugging. They buy you a protein shake, put a thing in that bitch. You, they give you a ride home from the gym. That's the easiest way. That's true. Well, it's less creepy to give somebody a ride home from the gym. Like, yo, I see you walking down that block all the time when I drive by. I'll just drop you off. Like, I'm just saying, like, nah, hey, yeah. you're insecure, you're in the gym, people can talk to you, builds up your, sec- it makes you feel more secure, so you kind of go in and give in. Right. Nah, yeah. There's a lot of weirdos in the gym. We used to have a dude in Powerhouse who said he was a CIA agent. He lived with his mom, who never had a job. Said he was a secret CIA agent who fly helicopters. It's a weird two things to put together. Yeah. And then he said he worked at, like, LaGuardia in the tower. And but with food. Like, yeah, so I'm just saying, this guy's in the gym too. Yeah, he looked like a weirdo, you could tell off the bat. But I'm just saying. Nah, I do understand what you're saying, to be honest. As I get older, the weirder it gets because things are around us are also evolving from that thing. Yeah. If it was to be the same, I would have no problem. It's not like, bro, girls are dressing this. You can't say girls are dressing the same as they did in Arnold's day. No, definitely not. Definitely not. And there was more banging going on in Arnold's days yeah. than anything. Than anything yeah. So obviously these girls aren't getting nothing. They're not getting nothing. Whoever they get is probably on pills or whatever. The fuck. They're not getting it. That's why they're still look, trying to look all this extra shit. Cause now I got attention from one guy in the gym and I already don't want to go by him. <laughs> and I'm a guy. I'm already dealing with this a guy and a guy, right? I'm already dealing with this. What, the girl, what, what do girls mentally deal with? And they... I wonder if they just accept it. Like, I'm not accepting it because I don't want to get raped by this dude one day or leave an opening or just for him to come talk to me, for me to shut him down, for me to even talk to him because I don't want to be mean to him, so I'm going to shut him down in a cool way, but he's going to think we're cool like that. And I know how that, that shit ends up looking. I know how niggas act with, you know, you got to shut a dude down when he's yeah. trying to talk to you. Yeah, Simba, I know. That's true. I mean, man... That is true, man. I'm just thinking back to when I first started the gym. I started, like, I started going. I was always active, but I started going hard in the gym in 2012. And uh, I remember, because at that point, I was going back and forth to my cousin's house. So I was at one of the gyms over there in in Bayside. And that gym was, like, full of, of, like, bigger bodybuilder dudes or whatever. And at that time, I was more into teaching Zumba than anything. So I wouldn't really be in the weight room like that. 
But for Zumba, you know, you have your whole little get up with the leggings and the whatever. Um, and yeah, there were times I felt really uncomfortable because then they no, would walk like, by the windows and shit and like. But like but, you're but, working, like that's yeah. a, like you're getting like, that's fine. That's even still fine. I'm talking major like it's. If it was all girls gym, you still would have no problem. No, yeah. right? Like you would don't, don't matter. I mean, maybe uh, honestly, I think I've just gotten used to it and I cover myself for the most part. I really yeah, don't. but I'm just talking about the younger kids. Like, thinking, how does it affect yeah, the yeah, younger I'm mind? Thinking, like, I no, think but it does. It's it, so malleable. But it definitely would affect the younger mind. So, like, I know my boys are on juice. Like, how did that happen? They look at kid dudes at the gym on juice, yeah. and they go and talk to him and get the juice. They're already getting if things are already getting affected. Think people are already. Yo, bro, non brolic people are on juice now. Like, things are evolving. That's what yeah, I'm trying to say. Like, yeah. back but in the day, you took a pre-workout, everybody thought you was on juice. Mm. But even if, like, say, hypothetically, let's say guys got their own gym, girls got their own gym. Hypothetically, I mean, they do have that, but I'm just saying, yeah, go on. They're, they're guys only gyms? I, I don't even know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... I think it's that. mad gay. That's when niggas start saying, yo, it's mad gay. You got no bitches in here. Like, you got mad niggas. But that's what I'm saying. I'm like, would it even work? I think Jim was... Would it even work? No! Yeah! I mean, look. It would work. It would guarantee work. Guys would still go if the gym is a gym. Right? If the gym is a gym, guys would go. Right. A dude like me would go. If yeah. the gym is a gym, I'd go. Uh, Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It might be a harder decision to make. Like, Do you want to go to a gym with the guy or girls? Or do you want to go to a gym that don't got girls? <laughs> as a guy, right? The Roasting Chronicles. Right? Dudes. So, so if anything, should there be an age limit uh, on the gyms? Probably. Because they already got like the 16 age limit thing. Maybe there should be a stricter age limit. Oh, you know what? You know what could actually fix this? Mm. To be honest, at the end of everything, what? a dress code for an age. A dress code for an age in the entry. Do whatever, man. We're not trying to control you. Just don't bring that. Because it's going to cause other things and stuff. That is Dress true. code. If you're under 20, don't do nothing crazy. Mm. I get it. You're 18. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, that should be, like, talked about, like, in a way. Like, it's just, like, it just, you know what I mean? Like, it should be written in a way. Like, you know, don't be low. You seem like, uh. nah, even when you put that, you just got to put it at an age. It's just for, I mean... It has, because the thing is, like, it, it has to... Okay, matter of fact, let's put it like this. You can only go to the gym under a certain... Like, if you're in, uh... Let's say if you're in, uh... You're, like, till 19, right? Mm. Whatever, like, school dress code is like. Okay. Like, gym dress code and school stuff, too. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, just tights and shirt and stuff right. like that. Like that. Because that way you can see the person as a child. You can see them oh, as a kid wearing kid shit. Not like a 40-year-old dude look at like a young person and like, well, I can't tell how old this bitch is anymore. Yeah. So why ask? That's true. That's true. I think also people need to realize like how, like between the genders, how, how it works. Because... At one point, growing people up... People realize how it works. I mean, everybody knows how it no, works. No, no, no. But at one point, I was like, ah, oh, like, why can't a guy just figure it out? Like, you know, don't look at a girl. No, because it's like, chemical imbalances. Yeah, saying. it's a That's chemical thing. Saying. That's what I'm saying. It's a chemical thing. Once and it's, I realize, it's more, it's, and it's, it's, it starts rewarding as soon as you start mentally start giving in. Mm. You start doing what I like, if I would do this or if I go talk to her. You're already mentally getting rewarded. You'd be like, oh, that would be lit if I did that. Like, it'd be... So, so you're already mentally getting rewarded. It doesn't work yeah. like that with girls. And plus you're seeing... Like the girls are coming in to bring their peak perfection. Because they got to be so confident to be showing this much skin, right? Yeah. No, I remember so they're coming in as a show. As a perfection thing. But on that, you know what? That's been 39 just, minutes. Just one more. Just one more. I remember this one time I was... I was, I was just finishing my workout and this girl, she had like... Really tight, uh, like she had a plump little. Yo, butt. bro, you're mad, like far and quiet. She had a plump little butt, and the guy, like, kind of just was not working out, and just like that, like literally just like that. And I was like, but you can't blame him either. But I can't blame him. I can't. He's looking at the glute squeeze because yeah. of the muscles. Yeah, can't blame him. 
but see a girl doing deadlifts and just squeezing her ass cheek. Can you really? If, could you get tight if a nigga just like sat there like it was like, no, nah, I'm checking your form. <laughs> like I, I I saw I saw one of my homies do that to open up to like he did like an opening to these shorties. Mm. So homies like uh like forty and stuff, right? So there was these younger shorties. I don't I don't know how I don't think they were underage. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. But he did a good opening. But he just did like a simple thing, like the girl was deadlifting, but putting her head down. He just said, "Yo, put your head up." When you do that, yeah. but he had to stare at her. I saw her too. I stared at her too because. It was crazy. She's deadlifting, but with her neck all the way down. Oh, You're gonna stare at her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but she's also wearing tight stuff. You don't know what the what the woo wah. Mm. On that note, anything else? Nah, that, that that was pretty much it. All right, That's, thank you guys. Thank you for tuning in. All right.